Arcadia, by the way, has marched in 15 other rows for it. So they too are pros, Nancy. Anybody that's in this parade is a pro. And like I said, you know, they do all kinds of preparation. And I think most people who are in the parade will love their food shots because they are so excited about being a part of this that they don't want to miss it. So, so much detail that goes into this. All right, this is one of my absolutely favorite photos. I mean, come on. How adorable is this giraffe? It's the winner of the Isabella Coleman Trophy, the best person to feature color and color harmony. Books bring us together. And it is by the UPS Store Incorporated. And just the girl, of all the kids are yelling as this goes by right now. Cute. The UPS Store salutes the Toys for Tots Literacy Program with their first ever rose braid float. It's a fun-loving design, as you can see. A friendly mouse perches a high atop a colorful tower of books. We stood inside his head when they were putting this together. And as a matter of fact, we have a picture we should put up on What's Instagram. What's the mouse thinking? You, you were inside his head. We were in, I'm always inside of men's head. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this 42-foot tall giraffe, smartly dressed in a trio of bow ties, because of course one bow tie is not enough for a giraffe. You need three bow ties to symbolize also the $3 million that UPS Store has raised on behalf of the Toys for Tots Literacy program. And the enormous giraffe is covered from head to tail in yellow cushion chrysanthemums, accented with tangerine and white carnations. And here we have the main attraction from Riverside, California. They're a special team of committed women who love to ride and perform precision drill, participate in parades, and attend fundraisers and charity events. And the primary charity they ride for is NDR, Therapeutic Riding Facility, which teaches children and adults with disabilities. Can you tell the horses apart, Nancy? Do you know horses? I, you know, I know there, I think I see an Arabian horse in there. Is there a paint horse? Is I know the paint horse, by, the, by the different colors, right? Isn't that the paint horse? You have a Peruvian and a quarter horse. It's yeah. not so bad, right? No. Yeah. It's kind of, I read it in my script. <laughs> <laughs> At least you admitted to it. Yeah. Okay, here's the winner of the Extraordinaire Trophy. Okay, my daughter is okay. screaming right now because to see dogs surfing is always amazing. Fetus Lucy Pet's gnarly cranking canine wave maker by Lucy Pet. And this is the one that Josh was talking about, where it broke world records. Is they had the in history at 148,200 pounds. And there, oh my goodness, he just surfed across the way. I don't know how you're on a float and you hold steady while you're on water with the float moving and you're a dog. That's pretty impressive. Now, just to make it feel really good, the water is heated. So dogs that get heated water when they're doing that, but the dogs are hanging ten in an effort to spread awareness about pet adoptions, and it's such a fun float. I mean, I want to see the dog surf again. Look at them. They're having a good time. The hues of tropical ocean designed into the 11-foot tall seawall. There goes another one. <laughs> That's making my dog Dutch look like, uh, well, Can Dutch. Uh, no, I don't even call him any call. No. Uh, <laughs> but these surfing canines, they're named Fred, Sully, and Coppertone. Funny names for dogs. Great names right there. And won a county, excuse me, a countrywide search contest for the best surfing dogs. You know, it's what's really interesting about this part with all this taking place. Um, so you see the dogs going back and forth on the surfboard, but behind this monster wave pool lies actually many woody wagons sized just for dogs. So when the dogs get done doing their surfing, well then a winch and pulley system keep the pictures moving smoothly and safely from one end of the 80 foot track to the other so that they can start their surf all over again. So if you look behind the white dog there, you can kind of see the little car behind it because it's on the other side of the toilet we're viewing right now, that pulley system that takes them back it's just to so get ready details. for their next surf. I mean, you, 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 you can't even imagine the detail that goes behind the carry each float here. We got a chance to go on one of the decorating days. I'm talking 200 volunteers Ooh, working eight-hour shifts. And, and uh, it was just phenomenal. A three-day process because these flowers have to be put on close to the parade. And look at this right here. I love the blimp view that we're getting right now because this is what the floats have to take into account. They have to make this big turn. So they have to make sure the float is not too long. And remember, this one is breaking a record. So this is the longest record. ever to try and turn and the make this turn, which is always tough to do. Sometimes the floats will actually stall when they make this, this turn. But it looks like it's going well so far. 128 feet. I said again, do it. Breaking do it. a record. It looks like it's going well so far. But they have to actually uh -huh. figure all this out and make sure that they can do this. And I would say they can't be a break in the water. They're surfing there. Look at that! Oh, they made it! They did it! All right, good stuff. Give them a, a round of applause <laughs> yes. for that. Round of applause for our next band as well, the Kifu Shogayo High School Green Band.